and learning more about the other victims killed and the pilot. Our Kate Waida is live near the crash scene this morning with the latest. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Now we're learning this as the NTSB continue their investigation at the site behind me. We learned about some other people as well who died in that balloon. They include Joe and Tressa Schaefer Owens were among the 16 people killed. They were from Katie. They're described as wonderful people who loved each other very much. Laura Lee Brabson and her daughter Paige were from San Antonio and on the flight, according to family. Paige had her first child just a few months ago. She gave her mom the balloon ride as a gift on Mother's Day. And friends and family are also mourning the loss of the pilot, Skip Nichols. The FAA says he had been certified as a commercial pilot since 2014. Skip lived in Kyle. Neighbors say he was a good neighbor and other often saw him storing the basket and balloon equipment in his garage. Now the NTSB is looking into his records and the, the weather conditions out here Saturday morning. We all know that fog Foggy conditions can change rapidly, so we're trying to nail down the best that we can. We've got some Twitter video, uh, I'm sorry, some Twitter images, uh, apparently from people on the balloon that might reveal that. We're in the process of analyzing that. And the wreckage from this crash site behind me could be hauled away as soon as today. And when the sun comes up, investigators are expected to be back out here. Of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live in Caldwell County, Kate Wydaw, KXA News. Our coverage of the crash continues online. You can see the full video of every news conference so far. Plus, we're going to carry the one that they are expected to have at 4 o'clock this afternoon. We're going to carry it live. Also, check out this infographic detailing the safety of hot air balloons. Look for that and so much more on our website, kxan.com. 536.